O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for it, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Prophet Jeremiah chapter 39 In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army came against Jerusalem and besieged it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, a breach was made in the city. All the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate. Nergal Sharizar, Sam Garnebo, Sarkekum, Rabsaris, Nergal Sharizar, Rabmag, with all the rest of the princes of the king of Babylon. When Zedekiah the king of Judah and all the men of war saw them, they fled 
and went out of the city by night by way of the king's garden, through the gate between the two walls, and he went out towards the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued them, and overtook Zedekiah on the plain of Jericho. When they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon at Riblah in the land of Hamath, and he pronounced judgment on him. Then the king of Babylon killed Zedekiah's sons in Riblah before his eyes. The king of Babylon also killed all the nobles of Judah. Then he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him in chains to carry him to Babylon. The Chaldeans burned the king's house, the houses of the people, with fire and broke down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon the residue of the people who remained in the city, the deserters who also fell away to him, and the residue of the people who remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left the poor of the people, who had nothing in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon commanded Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, concerning Jeremiah, saying, Take him and take care of him. Do him no harm, but do to him even as he tells you. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, sent, with Nebuchadnezzar, Rabsiris, and Nergal Sherezar, Rabmag, and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon. And they went and took Jeremiah out of the cause of the guard and committed him to Jedaliah, the son of Achiham, the son of Shaphan, that he should take him home. And so he lived among the people. Now Yahweh's word came to Jeremiah while he was shut up in the cause of the guard, saying, Go, speak to Ebed-Melech, the Ethiopian saying, Yahweh of armies, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will bring my words on this city for evil and not for good, and they will be accomplished before you with that day. But I will deliver you in that day, said Yahweh, and you will not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid. For I will surely save you, and you will not fall by the sword, but you will escape with your life because you have put your trust in me said Yahweh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 6. Dare any of you, having a matter against his neighbour, go to law before the unrighteous and not before the saints? Don't you know that the saints will judge the world? If the world is judged by you, are you unworthy to judge in the smallest matters? Don't you know that we will judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then you have to judge things pertaining to this life, do you set them to judge who are of no account in the assembly? I say this to move you to shame, for isn't there even one wise man among you who will be able to decide between his brothers? But brother goes to law with brother, and that before unbelievers. That is already a defect in you. Then you have lawsuits one with another. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be defrauded? No, but you do yourselves wrong and defraud, and that against your brothers. Or don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, idolaters, adulterers, male prostitutes, homosexuals, thieves, covetous, nor drunkards, slanderers, or extortionists will inherit God's kingdom. Such were some of you, but you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and in the Spirit of God. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of anything. Food for the belly, and belly for food. But God will bring to nothing both it and them. For the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Now God raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up by his power. Don't you know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Let it never be. Or don't you know that he who is joined as a, to a prostitute is one body? For he says, the two will become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you and who's come to you from God? You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore you must glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely 
to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.